Uh, good morning YouTubers Welcome to another session again We are trying to read out uh, Rolls Royce with uh, With Ista Okay YouTubers I'm back Alright so first of all we run i2 radar And um, we make sure that we lock the icon here And um, we click uh, reserve and then we run uh we gotta run our ESIS here. Uh, this morning we're doing a Rolls Royce uh RR4 2010. And this one is in the chassis group of the F001. Okay. It says it's recommended to close all applications during flash process. Application running parallel to ESIS might affect the flash process. This also applies to background processes like indexing or defragmenting services. Let's just close that. Alright, we're going to try to read out the, uh, the FDL files today. Uh, what we're going to do, we click on expert mode. Um, well, expert would be this. We click on coding here. And then we click on uh, connection. Alright, and it's already defaulted to um, this one here. Never select this one. That's a direct. Never select that. When you're going to read out any F card, G card, or anything that is pertaining to PSDZ data, just click on that one here, that line that says target selector project equal F01173. This is the, this is the I shipment in the car right now, or in the software that I have. This one here, the latest I shipment, which, which would be the I level, this would be 2017 of March. And then the software version number will be 502. That is presently in my PSDC data and so on. And this is the IP address where the ICOM is at, where it's locked, right here. So we're going to press connect. Alright, so the connection is established. And we're going to read out the vehicle order. And there goes the vehicle order. Alright, we now click, we can read out SVT, this is the control unit 3. Okay. So what we do now, we go down to, um, we, we will right click here. And then read out coding data for all control units. Okay, these are all the NCB files that we just read out in the control units. And um, we read for, um, these are all the, the, the ZBE central, Z, uh, Z, ZBE mean um, central body electronics, TR, SVC mean uh, reverse camera, r vision camera, and TL telephone, SDL, and SM, and all these uh, control units that are referred to as SVT and so on so therefore we close this it says zero errors when we read out the uh, the coding data so what we're gonna do now we're gonna try to um, see if we can um, you know if we can go forward in terms of reading out something like here we go here right click and said edit FDL all right so this is in the CAS unit and the CAS unit um, one is zero five nineteen zero five and I think it's somewhere here. This is the CAS unit right here. That is its uh, NCV. And then we're going to see what we can change here. Usually in the folder for um, by clapping. Uh, for comfort clothing. We, 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 we can go here. at um, Right here. And we can look at the state of it. it was, this function is active on the car right now. Come that way from the factory. 
and this this one that says uh, comfort chilosum is active also and this one that says comfort niche active this function right now is basically um, niche active right now on the car I think this one have to do the PA comfort access I think when they use the key to open a car, so everything just open up by means of comfort access. If you you know if you if you activate this function here, it will be like turning on that kind of a function where um, you know you step you reach near to the car. There's a proximity transmitter that talks to the key in your pocket, and then it will allow the car to be unlocked and so on. Or ever you touch the door sensor, and they open the door. It depends on the design. It depends on vehicle option. So we have uh, FB. We read the coding data for it. This one is NIST active. This is when they use the key pop to probably hold down the button and then you probably can um, uh, close the car roof or something of the sort. Not the car roof, sorry, the car doors, either opening. So come for it, Chile Sung. If we take up this word here and we put it in the uh, Google. This one is active. Comfort open. Open. Comfort mean comfort and open mean um, open. So this one would be comfort close. So comfort close is basically when you actually enable this function and um, you know you edit it. You can see active. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing a tutorial for it, okay? and um, hopefully other people can learn all right this is uh, i think it's comfort uh clothing it's comfort clothing this is active but this one now with the fdd which will be the key pub this is niche active so right now if you try to hold on the key pub to close uh the car they probably won't squeeze in the mirrors if you want the mirrors to be squeezed in and there's a couple of options like these have to be un enabled to active you know and um, that is how we um, do it. Uh, this one says uh, dashboard KL15. This one is niche active. So maybe KL15 can show up um, in the cluster or in the dashboard somewhere there. If we unable that feature. And um, there's a lot of stuff here to turn on, you know, but we don't want to mess around with it and send any command to the ECU because it can cause problems. Uh, this is a Rolls Royce RR4 2010 uh, Rolls Royce Ghost so we ain't gonna run, send anything to the computers just like that you know we're just gonna go in through it for our tutorial sake and so on and so forth and there's another one here that says uh, comfort opening comfort chillism let me see what the state of this is okay the word value for this is basically 05 zero, 0 sorry 0F zero, 07 zero, probably meaning Five seconds. I think the hexadecimal zero F here is for basically five seconds. If you hold on the key fob, you know, on the on the on for about if you open the unlock button, if you open the unlock button, hold it down for about say five seconds, then it began to um, probably do certain features on the car. I don't know, open up the mirrors, whatever, and so on. And there's another one here, comfort opening. This is comfort opening. This one is equal 19, and the word value is zero one. So, um, uh, zero one, I can't remember exactly what it is. I don't know how many seconds this is saying to me here. I forget, you know. So, other sort of people, you can use the BMW forums online and you can pull up also these uh, tutorials. And you can learn how to do them yourself and so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot of features here to do. And, um, we know that when, when, when we, let's say for instance, we change a option here like this one we will like edit and then we click it to active right but we click save to save it but when we go back when we go back we have to activate FA before we can write the coding data to the control unit you know yeah these are the vehicle order these are the, um, the, the vehicle profile it shows you the different type of special uh, features that is on it. It 
showed you that we accessed the car this time, May 11, 2017. And this time is equivalent to what? Maybe this time is 7.55. I didn't access it exactly. At, well, yes, this is the time I accessed the car, 7.55. And this is the VIN number of the car. And this is the chassis group of the car. The Barry Hen Verbund. That's what they call it. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. We can also, we can back up this FA. We can back up the FA. Um, we can back it up with the name of the VIN number. We can back up the FA. We can call it, we can create a folder here. We can call it uh, Rolls, Rolls Royce. Uh, four, 210. And the VIN number would be, just want to make sure it would be uh, UX. 48953 so we back up the vehicle FA here and we can type in FA list um, I think it will be save as a .xml file and we can save it like that we call it FA list uh, you know vehicle order vehicle profile list that's what it is and we can go here to find it Okay, and here's it right here. And if we use Notepad++ and open it, we can see how it is um, arranged here and so on and so forth. Uh, this is the vehicle order that came with this car. And this is how we, um, we, we, um, we have it, uh, say, these are the vehicle options here. These look the codes right here. These are the ones that say XD6, like this one here. And these are special op option equipment that is on the car and so on and so forth like this one now I know this one by our navigation I think this one would be some kind of a preparation for Bluetooth I think this one will be USB and this one also would be some form of um, 6 NF either USB ULF or combo box whatever I think something of the sort I don't remember exactly all of the options by art you know but these are what the FA list look like and so on so um, let us close that and um, we go back here and like I said this is the FA BA let me open this one and see if it's the same thing yeah this is the same vehicle order of the same car we read out I think this was done um, 435 I think that this one was done yesterday um, two days ago I think this one was done um, probably Tuesday when I was reading out the car this is the date in which I accessed the file and this is the timing 435 in the evening and access it and this is the same car here the VIN number here with the last seven digits and with uh, UX48953 and it tells you the series will be RR4 and um, the build the build the build criteria will be this the car release of March in 2010 and so on alright so here's a call coming so I'm gonna pause this video and talk this, take this call okay yeah I'm back I'm continuing this okay so usually when you finish we um, you know we you know you, when you do edits you know I mean um, before you uh, write the coding data to the car you have to activate FA and then you can um, 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 you can um, after you finish do the edit um, let me see now this is there's still an open editor alright let us say yes well what should I say no FDL editor okay alright maybe I should close this now alright alright end of this tutorial for now 